Fourth of July. This is definitely my uh, my strangest one. You know, I'm um I'm in Moscow now in Russia. I'm actually not even in Moscow. I'm not, you know, like downtown Moscow. You know, I'm I'm uh, like in a village outside the city. Although it's not really like an actual village. You know, it's not like you got cows and horses here and cattle and, you know, and the wild bunch. But we do got a forest. And, um, there is a fair amount of privacy here. You know, in silence. And it's a beautiful spot, man. I mean... You know, most of Russia is kind of flat. And and, and here we got this... Uh, I mean, when I say most of Russia, I mean like most of the area surrounding Moscow. But, you know, we got, we got hills here, you know, we got the home that I'm living at, my home. It's standing on a hill and it's not like Mount Everest, you know, but, you know, it's, uh, it's an elevated home and there's a forest, you know, that I see when I, you know, head to my porch and I'm kind of like, you know, above the forest, you know, it's like, it's like I'm on that same level, you know, with the trees. I'm not above it. I'm on that same level with the forest, you know, and, and it's nice. It's nice being in a natural setting you know where it's all natural you know I ain't got no sanitation here I have to uh, you know shit in, sh uh, you know excuse my French here but shit in the bucket and then I um, you know I, I have to uh, take the bucket You know, uh, there's this special area. You know, there's this bigger pile of shit. <laughs> um, you know, and I have to empty the bucket. You know, every morning. You know, it's a very humbling um, way of living. But you know what? I'm waiting for that black current, though. You know, we got those berries around here um, that come around the month of October. And you can just pick it off the bush. You know what I mean? That fresh picking. There, you get that vitamin C. You get that berry blast. And it's always better when it's off the bush. You know, when it's not packaged by a company, per se, you know, you want it to be packaged by God. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's that Lord's packaging. 
that I'm all about. It's weird, man. I turned 29 a, mo a month ago. You know, and... I do think that 30 is the new 18. And so I got one more year till adulthood, you know. I'm in that transitional stage from boyhood to manhood, you know. I'm, you know, act one to act two. You know, and I look forward. I look forward to... Uh, to this new act, to this new uh, chapter of my life. Because I finally feel like I don't need anybody to hold my hand, you know, to do anything. Because I kind of grew up, I grew up always needing uh, a partner in crime, you know, I I grew up, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't even go, um, you know, to the grocery store without calling my friend Kirill up and being like, yo, Kirill, let's go get some milk, man, I need some milk. Like, I couldn't just go on my own. Like, I had to have a guy come with me. And that transcended to a lot of other aspects of my life. You know, I couldn't think, I, like the idea of going for a walk by myself was just unthinkable. Just on my own, you know, just with my own thoughts, just with nature, you know, nature walk or a walk downtown or whatever. A walk around the neighborhood. That was just unthinkable for me. But now I enjoy my own company. You know, I don't need anybody but me. You know, because because existence is me. You know, people talk about narcissism and its negative aspect aspects and how, you know, it's like a, a way to be self-involved. But I think anybody, I think everybody has to be self-involved if they want to call themselves happy. I mean, what's it, what's it about if it's not about you? I mean, you are the one that you control. You know what I mean? You can't be driving two vehicles at the same time. You only got one steering wheel and one vehicle. And that's your vehicle. And you got to love it and you got to take care of it. You know what I mean? And you're not looking at the world through no other wi uh, wind windshield. Excuse me. Windshield. You only got your windshield to look through. Now, it doesn't mean that you're, you're not going to go out there and respect the other drivers. You are. I mean, if you're a, if you're, if you're a decent 
human being, you're going to do that in any case. But you don't have to worry about the way, you know, the way they're driving and where they're going. And you know what I mean? You got your own road. The road to the Lord. And I think he wants you to enjoy that road. And, um, and, and, and enjoy the parts where, you know what I mean? It's a deserted highway and you're just there on your own. Just as much as you should enjoy the parts where, you know, it's a busy freeway and, There are a lot of people taking the same road with you. And it's strange that our society has been shaped in a way lately where, you know, the the dialogue is that, you know, you shouldn't enjoy, you know, being on the road by yourself. Which is strange to me because I don't I don't think you're ever by yourself, you know. You're one on one with the higher power when you're uh by yourself. You're one on one with God, but you know, you're never alone alone. It, that's impossible. I feel like a lot of people have uh, have difficulty embracing these kinds of periods in their life and, and loving them and really cherishing them and being grateful. You know, I feel like when people are uh, are on that deserted highway, you know, they're always anticipating... Um, you know, other car, other cars on the horizon. You know, or or cities, or outposts, or or busier roads. But I was thinking, I don't think you should anticipate anything. You know. I mean, you do need a plan, but you do need direction, but but it's not about the destination. That's the thing. And it's not about the other drivers. You know, it's about it's about your journey and uh, it's about the road, man. It's about you and the road and God. And I feel that it's weird that I sometimes feel uncomfortable saying the word God. I'm embarrassed and ashamed even. But I do. I do believe in God. And I do think that God has a plan for each and every one of us. For each and every living being. And God does work in mysterious ways, but but 
I, I do think that he has a plan 